looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Coins, look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head on over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. Hello, everybody. It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over all the upcoming Mutt content this week, guys. Specifically today and things that were announced like last night. So, guys, we have the NFL Honors players that are confirmed, of course. Now, are they in the game yet? No, but that's because they are confirmed. The award ceremony already happened. So we will know more or less who we're getting, or we will know for exact who we're like exactly who we're getting, but we shall have the card yet or exactly what stats are overalls. But for the most part, we can pretty much assume based on how they usually do this. And overalls are a bit higher this year than most years, so more or less they're gonna be, they're gonna be close to 98, 99, 98, 97, 99, 96. So we're gonna be the range of them. Um, you know, it's gonna be the range. I think 99 will definitely hit, whether it be a 98 power up or an actual gold 99. But there will be a none. Now, guys, we're also going to be going over Super Bowl, which is going to play tonight, guys. For the last time, comment down below your bets for who's going to win. I'm going to take Chiefs. I know I shouldn't bet against Brady, but I do want to see Mahomes win one more ring. Brady has enough of those things. He, he'll be okay. I promise you. But nonetheless, comment down below who you think is going to win. Always smash the like button, guys. Help out the channel a lot. And comment down below. If you guys need coins, head over to my reserve. Guys, as it's know, we will know a few things from Madden. We will know who gets Super Bowl MVP. We will know who wins the Super Bowl, right? Two things that we're going to need to know from Madden. We will know the predictor tokens. If you guys haven't done those, I think it's too late, right? I think you had a... Uh, I think it might be too late for those predictor tokens. So hopefully you guys made your bets already. So yeah, you'll know the winner of those. You'll know your coins. You'll know your MVP. And you guys, your NFL honor cards. Those will be coming shortly. You guys know how that goes. It usually takes a few days until they all come into the game. Especially with the Super Bowl tonight. They're probably going to push that back a little bit. But yeah, let's get into this, guys. So, um... Let's head on over to the store. So, guys, and real quick, because this did come out as a surprise LTD, we got Reggie White Super Bowl um, surprise LTD. So, that, that's exciting, guys. He's in the game. I don't know how much he is. Let's see real quick. Going to be probably over a million coins for a little bit, for a few minutes. And it'll probably come down to, like, the 700K range, 800K, and then work his way from there. But, guys, Reggie White looks pretty good. 82 speed, 91 excel, 98 strength, 95 tackle, 97 play rec, 96 block shed, 97 power move, and 93 finesse move. His card's a monster. Powered up and chemed up, he'll have 99 power move. He'll have 97 block shed. He'll have 99 play rec, probably 99 strength, 82, uh, 83 speed. Plus, you know, sprint and everything probably gets like 84 speed, 92 excel. This card is an absolute beast, guys. Reggie White's probably the best left end of the game, or at least up there. Super athletic, great block shed, great power move. He usually plays re uh, really, really well. Any other behind the cards that we just see here? 97 awareness, um, 97 impact blocking. What's the hit power looking like? 93 hit power. This card's a monster, guys. Reggie White's going to be one of the best left ends in the game, if not the best uh, left end in the game. Make sure you for sure, guys, are taking a chance to go check him out and see if you can afford him because that is a great card. Let's get back to the rest of the video. Guys, right, so let's go ahead into it, like I said, and let's go check out the other players that will be upcoming, guys, because we do have a lot of stuff that is coming into the game very shortly, guys. So, of course, we have the Super Bowl tonight, which is going to determine a lot of stuff in terms of, you know, who gets Super Bowl MVP, the predictor token. So, remember, we do have that coming out tonight. Now, we won't get the MVP tonight. We'll just know who it is. And the predictor tokens, again, they may not turn into coins until, again, the next day until they update everything. But for the most part, guys, you are going to know what we're getting, just like we know the NFL Honor players now. First, we can get the we're NFL MVP, Aaron Rodgers, going to be a 99 overall, probably 98, powered up to 99. So this card's going to be a beast. That's going to be a plus five increase on his overall. And remember, Aaron Rodgers, the thing with him is he has that glitchy release. Aaron Rodgers is known to have a super, super glitchy fast release. So he's always been a top quarterback. Now, he's an improviser, so pending pending you know archetype slash abilities and what he can get is going to decide if he's the best quarterback in the game but he's going to be up there he's going to get probably i would say an 83 to 84 speed 99 throw power 99 throw short 99 throw me uh, me medium accuracy once everything's said and done with all the uh, abilities and chemistries his deep accuracy actually may get up to like a 96 97 but again you're not going to just go deep you probably end up using play fake and so on and so forth guys this card is going to be an absolute monster aaron Rodgers is probably going to be the best quarterback in the game at least on paper, right? And then once we go into like abilities and everything, we'll see where we stand from there. But Aaron Rodgers is going to be a beast. Now, coming up next, guys, we have the Offensive Player of the Year. Now, Offensive Player of the Year, very well deserved it. King Henry, he did, uh, I think he had over 2,000 scrimmage yards or yards from scrimmage, however you say that. But um, he, he, had, he had an amazing year. Had him in fantasy, definitely was a fun ride um, until the end. Whatever, you know, you know how that went. But anyways, King Henry... His last card was a zero chill card, powered up and chemed up, guys. He will get up to a 98 overall, more than likely. So that's a plus three overall increase on him. Um, again, not 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 the biggest increase, but remember, if they unless they give him a 98 stat, unless they give him a 98, they give him a 98 overall, he would up to 99. But let's just say he gets a plus three, he would up like a 95 speed, 
you'll probably end up with a 93 excel this car could be really good with the issues the speed the, if, okay if they give him a 96 speed on the plus four if they give him a 96 speed he's going to be a great back but i think he mainly get a 94 or 95 and then he'll get up to 96 but they give him a 96 and gets up to 97 that's pretty crazy but he may get up to 96 possibly it's possible but his change of direction won't get up to 90 his truck and brake tackle will be borderline 99 his agility will be better but again his change of direction and his agility is too low which does hurt this year the strength's great but again he'll be great but they really unless they go they go wild and really give him that great card i'm not sure if we'll be talking about him as a meta back anytime this year at this point right i was like a golden ticket henry which would be that would be cool if they did a golden ticket henry and someone gave him like agility and a change of direction as their their one big stat Next as defensive player of the year, we got Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald, standard. Always winning defensive player of the year. At least it feels like that anyways. His next car will be a big increase. He'll get plus seven overalls uh, altogether. Probably plus eight. He'll go up to 98. So plus, plus, uh, plus, uh, no, what's it called? Plus six overalls, sorry. He'll get plus six overalls. I'll probably leave him with like an 84 speed, 90 excel. Closer to 99 strength, 90 tackle. Power one blocks will be like 96, 97 apiece. So he's going to be an all around, you know, game changer. Going to be a great car. You guys know you can never go wrong with Aaron Donald. He's gonna be great so that's the defense play of the year offensive play of the year and mvp now here's the thing comeback play of the year was alex smith i don't think we'll get a card just like last year they may just give us a fantasy player of the year so that could be a dalvin cook because we got henry here we have to we have to see who that's going to be could be a quarterback but again we, we're not entirely sure just yet but we still have a few more awards to go over anyways so offensive rookie of the year justin herbert now the thing is i can't compare his card because this other card is not i don't actually have it so justin herbert 88 overall Guys, he'll probably be a 97 overall, maybe 98, probably 97. He may get up to a 90, like four, three speed. And that's because I believe his other card is snow carded like an 88 to 89 speed. So he will get like a 90 speed, somewhere above 90, while also having a 99 throw power, having all the throwing accuracy thresholds. He may be the best quarterback, six foot six. He could be one of the best quarterbacks in the game because he's gonna be a strong arm quarterback, gunslinger, and all that stuff. He'll get a, he'll get great abilities, but if it comes down to hot round master, we have to see if he gets that. But if he does get hot round master, guys, he's going to be a force in this game. He's gonna be a meta quarterback. Again, I'm not entirely sure on that one. Now, defensive rookie of the year, Chase Young. Now, I could be wrong, but look, it feels like he didn't get any cards this year. I guess just because off here, he only got the 83, and there's 92. That was not up before. Okay, so there it is. He got like only he only got two cards this year technically. But he did get this one right here, which is getting sold out, I guess, because people want to have him for potentially a power-up. But this Chase Young at 92 overall. His next car is going to be 90, probably 97 powered up, so that's a plus 5. His next car will probably have a 92 speed with 96 Excel, 97 Excel, guys. That's going to be a crazy car. He's going to be one of the most athletic ends in the game with above 90 strength, above 90 tackle. He'll have a like a 96 finesse move with a 96 block shed. He's going to be one of the he's probably gonna be the best right end in the game, honestly, with that speed and power move and finesse combo gonna be crazy gonna be crazy good but overall guys so far the award ceremony guys are looking like they could be really really good cards i mean they always are but there's been years where like stefan gilmore was too slow a few other guys weren't exactly what we you know we expected them to come out it all comes down to how ea does their stats right so that's the thing but so far look so far looking pretty good now last guys is going to be the super bowl stuff so remember tonight is what we won the super bowl mvp so starting off with i'm gonna go with the three most likely or four most likely scenarios Starting off with Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes. If we get a Patrick Mahomes card, guys, he will probably be on paper the best quarterback right there with Aaron Rodgers. The only issue is going to, well, no, he will be the best paper quarterback on paper because he'll be better than Aaron Rodgers. But the issue is going to be the archetypes for everyone. Um, Mahomes, if he gets MVP, that's a 99 overall plus a power up. So that's a 99 plus one, which is still going to be 99, but the stats will go up. He will get, he'll be like a super, like a super Saiyan 99, right? Like that, that's how I look at that. So he's going to go up he'll probably end up with i would say an 86 87 speed 99 throw power 99 99 throw short 99 throw medium and probably mid 90 through throw like no high 90 throw deep once he gets his cams and everything but everything's gonna be great this card's going to be the best quarterback on paper with speed throw power everything he'll be, herbert actually might be close but it comes down to the abilities because herbert will be a strong arm and mahomes is an improvised so we have to see how that all stacks out but mahomes probably best case scenario for a um, super bowl card now on the other side of the thing tom brady has a high chance of winning it as well if they win right we're talking about if either team wins now tom brady card would not be that coveted because the issue with tom brady kind of like that deon sanders effect deon has maxed out athleticism and coverage and tom brady is maxed out like, you know throwing already kind of like he has great throwing threshold so what can they get better on right every tom brady card just increases the throwing but he already is like a maxed out thrower threshold wise but they don't increase his speed i like how deon he never they never increase his press enough so it's like why well, get the next card once he gets the 99 speed so Tom Brady again, next car would just be better throwing. Gonna be not all close to 99, everything throwing, but again, or not 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 even like 95s and above, but again, it's not even that great. Tom Brady will not be one of the like one of the worst uh 
in terms of Madden, you know, not, nothing to do with real life, but in terms of Madden, he will not be great. Now, my little dream scenario that I'm low-key hoping for is getting a Leonard Fournette Super Bowl MVP. This card would be a monster. If you guys look at the stats, right, he can be powered up too. Leonard Fournette, let's say Leonard Fournette gets a 99 overall. That's a plus six increase, but wait, you can also power him up again. That's a plus seven increase from this card. Plus seven, he has a 93 speed. So let's figure he gets four speed upgrades. He can get a 97 speed. 97 speed, 95 excel. Gonna be the fastest back in Madden by far, right? Next, above 90 agility, so we go to Derek Henry. Got like 99 carrying. His catching actually may come pretty close to an 80. He might get like a 76, 77, which is pretty surprising. His change of direction may get up to 90. His trucking will be a 99. And his break tackle will be close to 99, guys. This will be the end. His strength will be above 90. Six feet tall, 228. And then his stiff arm will be above a 90. His juke and spin will be above a 90. His truck will be like a 99. Like I said, guys, this car could be the best running back in Madden. And it could be super fun. Like, again, I know we're more used to like glitchy, agile backs, but Leonard Fournette could be what Derrick Henry should have been all year. And then finally, guys, one that I low-key hope for that could be a monster as well is another Clyde Edwards card. Now, the issue with Clyde, he doesn't have, he doesn't have a power-up. Maybe they'd give one, but he's also a rookie premier, so that'd be cool as well. But Clyde Edwards, a lair, Super Bowl MVP, would probably get it. So that's a plus four, right? Now, let's assume he gets a power-up, so that's a plus five. 96, 97, 98, 99, and then plus one. So that would be a plus five increase, which potentially could lead to three speed upgrades. You get a 96 speed, maybe 97 speed power-up, right? No, okay, let's, let's figure he gets a 97 speed. He would probably get a 99 Excel at that point. He would also get 99 Agility. He would get above 90 Carrying. He would have like 85 Catching, 99 Change of Direction. He would have mid-high 80 Trucking and 99 Break Tackle. At 5'7", guys, with how agile he'd be and how hard it would be to catch him and how he could just go in and out of lanes. He would also have above 90 Stiff Arm. He would have 99 Juke. Probably 96, 97 spin, 94 break tackle, plus probably like 99 break tackle. This card overall would just be an overall beast, guys. It'd be super exciting to see a Clyde Edwards a lair card. Uh, again, I don't know if they'd do it. And he's a premier, but I, I doubt he'll win it, right? But if he did, that'd be super cool. But that's pretty much it for the video, guys. That covers everything I want to cover. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell. Always like and comment, guys. Comment down below who's winning, who's a Super Bowl MVP. Let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.